what the black man and woman needs to know about the nation, about the world, about themselves. Mohammed Speaks It. To order your 12-issue subscription to Mohammed Speaks newspaper, 313-371-7033. 313-371-7033. Kareem Bean Pie is the grand champion of all bean pies. The rich flavor and smooth texture takes this pie to a whole new level of delicious. One bite and you'll understand why people all over the country call daily to order Kareem Bean Pie. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. Kareem Bean Pie. This bean pie is delicious. Mohammed Speaks presents Messenger Elijah Muhammad's Teachings by Minister Khalil Shabazz every Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m. at Muhammad's Temple of Islam, 12609 East McNichols Road in Detroit. Brothers and sisters, we rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, all praises due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful, soul masters, dear gentlemen, in which we now live, the alone that we serve, and the alone seek for thine help and aid. O oh Allah, please guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou spell thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down nor those who go astray after they heard thy teachings. Say he Allah is one God. Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is heard to be served, worshipped or praised besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. And I bear witness that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is thy true servant and last apostle. I mean we like to acknowledge the brothers and sisters that extended us the greetings of assalamu alaikum. Excuse me. We have Brother Muta Kabir Ali from New Jersey. We have uh, Captain Hakeem from Virginia. We have uh, Minister Kamu from Virginia. We have Sister Patricia from Chicago. We have Sister Hala Brooks from California. And we have Minister Isaac Muhammad from New York. I like to say in the name of Allah who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad and in the name of his last and greatest message of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. I'd like to greet the brothers and sisters with the nation of Islam's greeting words of peace of Assalamu alaikum. Today we'd like to talk about Sexy Red and Sukiyani is the best, but the black man just don't know it. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> they over the top. Because they got these song, one of the songs that they have is called Hood Rap. And, you know, I don't be trying to act like I'm just so old. You know what I'm saying? But it's clearly a, diff, a disconnect between this generation, the younger generation, and the previous generation. Because even as bad as my generation, because my generation was worse than my parents' generation. They just keep getting worse. But it seems like in this generation, we embrace being wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's no shame in being wrong. Even though when I was coming up, we was wrong. But it was still some kind of shame. I remember one time I was in high school. Me and my friends was smoking weed and we was riding through the neighborhood. So we stopped at a red light. So I got the, the blunt in my hand, and I just happened to look over and see a, a, one of the church members in the next car. I'm like, oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Like, she go to my church. So I'm telling my friends, like, yo, man, she go to my church. They thought it was funny. But I had some shame. I didn't want my mama and daddy to know. I'm sm I didn't want her to know. But in this culture, we have become or then gotten so low by this devil civilization that we embrace being wrong. We, as the Metrosers say, got self-pride in ignorance. Self-pride in ignorance. This is the black man. But 
They the best. Looking at them, it don't look like it. But they still the queen mother of civilization. Yes. So we got to go to the messenger. Because he is the one who helps us to understand. Because we as Muslims, we still don't know. We have to. It's because of the messenger's teachings. Because for me being a minister and going out selling papers. Now, I love my people. But I don't have the kind of love for them that the messenger had. I'm going to keep it real. Because that's the one thing that I recognize about being a minister. God chose the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, he only chose one. None of us have the love for our people as the last and greatest messenger had. None of us have the patience with our people. As the messenger has. None of us have the creative ideas to figure out how to help our dead black people like the honorable Elijah Muhammad did. Pray due to Allah. So we got to go to him to understand how can our sisters that's completely deaf, dumb, and blind, how are they still the best? This, is a, this comes from the June 19th, 1970, Muhammad Speaks, and it's called Rob of Self. This is the messenger. He says, the black slave, the so-called Negro, but in reality, he is the ab original black man of the heavens and the earth, has been robbed so thoroughly by his white slave master for the past four centuries that when the knowledge of self is offered to the black slave, the knowledge that will dignify him, he does not believe that it is his self. He does not believe that he is worthy of being dignified or honored due to his long stay with his master, his rob. That's the message. Yes, it's two very good points that he makes in this article or in this paragraph that we need to understand what he's saying. First, he says, the so this black slave, so-called Negro, but in reality, he is the ab original black man of the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? When you say a person is ab original, what are you saying? Ab original means existing from the earliest time. That's what it means when you have when you say ab original. The honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that we are the ab original black nation of the earth. Now I can't make a lecture. Without talking about these Israelites. Can't do it. Because they had us. So we got competition today. We got competition for the hearts and the minds of the black man. Because they telling us that we are not Muslims. But that we Israelites. This was Sukiani and them might listen to. They might hear them. Telling them that the Muslims, you know, that's an Arab slave religion. But when we go to the Bible, the Bible's history does not start with the Ab original black nation of the earth. That's right. Because the Jews have a holiday that they call Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is what you call the Jewish holiday. This year, Rosh Hashanah starts September 15th. Rosh Hashanah is their Jewish New Year that they say starts with the creation of the heavens and the earth. This year, Rosh Hashanah, for them, will mark 5,784 years. That's the white man. He's trying to make us to believe 
that the earth was created, the heavens and the earth was created 5,784 years. But this is why we got to go back to the messenger. Because the messengers say we are the ab original yeah. black nation of the earth. Now let's go to Genesis. This is Genesis 6, 1 through 3. It says, and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them. It says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. And they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. For that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be 124 or 120 years. So this is talking about. The Ab original black nation plus another person. We got to understand the difference between the two. Because the honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us we are the so-called American Negro. But in reality, we are the Ab original black nation of the earth. Yes, sir. So in the Bible. It only covers a history of 5,784 years. It says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. What does it mean when you say fair? Fair means it says of hair or complexion, light and blonde. So when it says in Genesis, it says, and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth. What man is it talking about? It's talking about the white man. It's talking about the blonde haired blue eyed, no good white death. Yes, sir. These are the men that began to multiply on the ab original black man's earth. Because if the sons of God saw the white man's daughters and wanted to take them as wives, what was happening before the man, the white man started to populate on earth? He was taking his own one to be his wives. So the messenger taught us that this took place in Arabia, when the white man and the black man first began to uh, co-mingle with each other. So the Bible starts out with the history of a no good blue eyed death. This is where the, but the history does not start with the Ab original black nation. The Ab original black nation history goes into the trillions of years. That's right. We don't have no five thousand. What do what we look like as a black man, believing that our history only go back five thousand years? We a fool. The honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that it took trillions of years for the. For the black man to create himself. Yes. That took trillions of years. But that's another subject for another time. What I'm trying to say. Is that the Bible talks about two nations of people. It talks about the Ab original black nation. Which has no beginning and no ending. Then it talks about the white race. This is who Sukiyami and Sexy Red are a member of. They are a member of the Ab original black nation of the earth. Yes, sir. So now let's go on even further with the second point in this article. Or in this paragraph. The messenger says, 
He says the black slave, the so-called Negro, but in reality, he is the ab original black nation or black man of the heavens and the earth. Has been robbed so thoroughly by his white slave master for the past four centuries that when the knowledge of self is offered to the black slave, the knowledge that will dignify him, he does not believe that is his self. He does not believe that he is worthy of being dignified or honored due to his long stay with his slave master, his robbers. Yes, sir. Mm. So Sukiani and Sexy Red, not only to themselves, but to us too, we done seen the black man and the black woman here with this devil acting such a fool that when the knowledge of self is presented to us, we feel like, how are we going to honor them? Look how savage say, because I'm telling, they over the top. I'm not trying to make it to seem like these two sisters is some church members. These sisters is over the top. When you talking about filth and indecency. But the fact still remains. The messenger taught us in the Holy Quran. It talks about the black man and our nature. It says Islam is the nature that Allah created man. Then it says there is no altering what Allah has made. Ain't no altering. You can do what you want to do to the black. Ain't no altering what Allah has made. Yes, so no matter how savage we see Sukiyani and Sexy Red, we still ain't no better than them. That's what we need to teach you, the messenger to continue to remind us. Yes. Because the one thing I get sick of is these self Righteous Muslims. I remember on Facebook, I posted a picture of Shikari Johns. She was praying in, a, uh, in her track meet or whatever she was doing, but she was in a prayer position. So I made a meme where it was a sister in the nation of Islam praying the way we pray next to Sister Shikari. It was so many of these self-righteous Muslims coming in there talking about that she, I shouldn't have posted this picture with her. Look how savage she looked. Just dogging the sister. Shikari Richardson. I'm sorry. But they was dogging the sister out talking about look how savage she looked. She ghetto and all of that. But we can see who is actively going out to get the dead? Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us. He said the Muhammad Speaks newspaper is the number one program of the Nation of Islam. That's right. Number one. This is number one for the brothers. To go out and get the dead. And when you out there, who you see? Sukiyan. Sexy Red. Yes. You see Sister Shikar mm -hmm. all the time. Praise you to Allah. These the people that we see all the time. Then when we see them, sometimes you get some brothers and sisters, even though they sexy red, will come at you and say, Why well, like them so long. I salama can like them. <laughs> they be trying to say salama like yes. as hard as, and I still return. Why well, like them salam, brother? Yes, brother? Praise due to Allah. I don't care. I say nah. It's cause of the messenger now. Nah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It ain't cause I'm just so. It's cause of the messenger. Right. He told us your soul purpose is to deliver the seventeen million to the land. That's right. Baby. He said that's our soul like your only purpose mm -hmm. 
is to deliver the dead to the land. That's right. It ain't your job to judge. Mm -hmm. It ain't your job to teach. It's your job to deliver them to the land. That's right, brother. That's our job. So no matter what condition they in, if you see Shikari and you a Muslim, with her long, as they say, ghetto fingernails, with her long ghetto weave, if you a Muslim, you love the message. You love your nation. You love Allah for his mercy. For him loving us so much that he came yeah. 9,000 miles seeking to save that which is lost. Yes, so when you see these so-called ghetto sisters doing anything, have way resembling righteous, you going to praise them. You see this sister as ghetto as she is with her weaving long fingernails trying to submit to Allah. You go praise that. If you see Sukiyani and Sexy Red praying like they, you see them trying to do something that's right, you go praise that. Even in a savage condition. Because the messenger said, the black so-called Negro, the black slave, but in reality, but in reality, mm -hmm. the L O original black nation of the earth. But the messenger said, we've been with this devil so long that when the knowledge of self come to us, we don't even think we worthy enough to be dignified. Mm -hmm. We don't think we worthy enough to be out. But we are. Yes. Because God came for us. Messenger said when Allah came to North America, 1930, he said he did not come to save one white person, young or old. That shows us how valuable we are to Allah, Master Farad Muhammad. So let's go on even further. So the messenger says, he says today, Allah God, in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praises are due forever, wants to restore all things to where they originally belong. As it is written in the Bible, the resurrection of the mentally dead so-called Negroes will cause all people to return to their own people and country. We got to stop there to make another point. Messenger says, he says, as it is prophesied in the Bible. Because now today, since Muslims don't say nothing, since we live in a generation of the cream puff Muslim, the Muslim who don't want to fight, the Muslim who don't want to stand up for the teachings of the message, we got all of these fakes talking about the Muslims quoting from the Bible because they say the Holy Quran is a plagiarism of the Bible. And they say that the Holy Quran is nothing without the Bible. So we got to explain why do we quote from the Bible? For what? The messenger, the honorable Elijah Muhammad, not only did he teach us as Muslims the Bible, he taught the black Hebrew Israelites the Bible. Yes. Let's not get it confused. Right. Because the, before the honorable Elijah Muhammad was teaching us the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, these Jews, who history only go back 5,784 years, they didn't accept the New Testament. They didn't accept going out and getting a black man from the mud. Right. If you was a black Jew, which bust up Bishop Nathaniel and all them fake steal some Uncle Tom, new school nigga Jew. Yes, sir. If you was a nigga Jew, you thought you was better than a black man. Some old nigga Jew. Mm -hmm. A nigga Jew wearing a small hat like the white Jew. Yes, sir. Now you got all these nigga Jews. 
That's when Bus Stop Bishop made that and IUIC. Talking about we quote the, yeah, we quote the Bible. We taught the black man what the Bible was. Yeah. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that we believe in the truth of the Bible. But we believe it has been tampered with. He says, so it must be reinterpreted so that mankind would not be snared by the falsehoods added to. So the messenger told us about the Bible. He told us about the resurrection. Another concept that come from the message. Them nigga Jews who was boot licking, buck dancing the white Jew. They didn't teach the black man what a resurrection was. It was the messenger, the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. He told us that we do not come back from a physical death. Right. That's what not no nigga Jew. Not none of them IUIC. I'm telling, I heard. IUIC. Because I'm their biggest fan. It's hard for me to not talk about them every single week. I don't want no Muslim to make it all right with IUIC. I want some Muslims who want to fight yes. IUIC. Yes, I heard them this week. Aside from all the slander that they did this week, a new week from last week of the mess. They going to say, never has there been a black group who changed the black man's mind like IUIC. That's what these new school nigga Jews saying about the message. A nigga Jew talking about ain't no black because the thing that you will learn when you study the teachings of the message. When you really start to love him, because I can't speak for these Muslims in this generation. I can only speak for a believer like myself. Yes. So when you begin to love the message, and you really, as he say, seek the way through me, mm -hmm. you begin to read, okay, if I'm going to seek the way through him, I want to read how was Muslims represent him when he was alive, right. when he could see them. When he can tell him you right or you wrong, do it like this or do it like that. Mm -hmm. So when the messenger was alive, any black leader that said anything, a believer was like, well, if you feel like that, how do you feel about the messenger? Mm -hmm. If this faith saying that no black group has ever changed the black man's mind, like IUIC. What is he saying about the messenger? Right. Because he know that the messenger lived. Mm -hmm. He know that the messenger spent 44 years. Blood, sweat, and tears. Building the nation of Islam. He know that. Mm -hmm. But he said to hell with that nigga. Mm -hmm. In the face of all these old punk coward Muslims. Y'all niggas is in the background now. We still in your interpretation. Mm -hmm. We watering it down and adding our due stuff to it. Mm -hmm. We starting to get information like we see that for a while. But y'all weak punk coward niggas mm -hmm. who just going to sit around and ain't going to say nothing. We the ones. Mm -hmm. Them niggas ain't changed the mind of the black man like IUIC. Mm -hmm. That's the attitude that a believer had when they listen to what he's saying. Mm -hmm. So the message is the one. Who taught the black man about a resurrection. Yes. He was the one. Who taught us. That no man lives forever. Yes. No man. He taught us nothing is beyond the grave. After you die. That's it. So he said when the Bible is talking about. A resurrection. It's not talking about a physical resurrection. That's right. It is talking about a mental resurrection. Yes, sir. 
If you take Suki out and she die, she will die in her ignorance. She will die in her filth. And that's going to be all she wrote. But if Suki out and Sexy Red had a mental resurrection, then they will begin to wear clothes that dignify them. They will start practicing a religion and a culture that dignifies them. Yes, sir. That is what you call a mental resurrection. <laughs> Sukiyani and Sexy Ray, instead of twerking, instead of letting the black man and the white man, because in this video, they twerking for black and white men. But when they have a mental resurrection, they won't even shake the hand of a man. That's right. They won't even try to attract the attention of a man. That's right. Messenger told us the man is supposed to seek out the woman. Yes. Because in this wings to even start talking about what the messenger said about the brothers. Because that's one thing I'm getting sick of in this generation to these brothers. Because most of these no good, sorry brothers, these uh, Shaharazad Ali brothers, mm -hmm. these Kevin Samuel, these chicken hearted brothers, is the reason why Suki Ali and Sexy Red is the way they are. Mm -hmm. Messenger taught us how to resurrect a dead black nation. He taught us that. Yes. He taught us his me. When the messenger made our FOI uniform, he put our flag on the shoulders of the FOI. What does that mean? That means the weight of the whole black nation is on the shoulders of the man. That's what that means. So if we see Sukiyan, sexy red, acting a fool, all us little sorry chicken hearted little scared niggas need to just shut our mouth. Because the weight of the whole nation is on the man. Yes. So if I'm a black man, I got a wife. I want my wife to submit to me. I want her to cook. I want her to do all the things that a woman is supposed to do for her husband. So since the weight of it all is on me, then I'm supposed to make it easy for her to do what she got to do for me. Because the messenger said that's how you make it easy for yourself. Yes, sir. By making it easy for her. Yes. So let's get back to Sukiya. If these weak, chicken-hearted niggas who like Shahrazad, who like Kevin said, if you want Suki Ali to change, if you want Sexy Red to change, then you as a man got to make it easy for her to change. That's the teachings of the message. That's right. And most of these weak, chicken-hearted niggas don't want the teachings of the message. Because Busta Bishop, he was in the nation of Islam. I forgot to bring the picture, but we're going to post the picture on the video. Because we're going to show how all of these Negroes, niggas, and colored boys, they don't want the teachings of the message. Busta Bishop say he was in the nation of Islam. So instead of him following the teachings of the messenger, because he don't want that, he take the teachings of the messenger and make his own thing. He teaching them fakes everything the messenger taught us, but with a, with a nigga juice spin on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The messenger had Muslim girl trait. The nigga Jew and IUIC got the daughters of Sarah. What is a daughter to a mother? A little girl. Yeah. So the nigga Jew don't want to submit to the teachings of the message. 
So you gonna create something for yourself. So the nigga Joe, who don't really love the black woman, he ain't willing to shoulder his responsibilities. So I saw in this Daughters of Sarah, it was a picture on the wall in a class of a sister washing a brother's feet. I'm going to tell a sister like this. Do what you want to do. If you think your husband or you want to wash your husband's feet, wash his feet. But before you become a foot washer for one of these lazy niggas, you need to learn the teachings of the message. You need to learn what the messenger said this lazy Negro nigga and color boy is duty bound to do for you. That's right. Before you become a foot washer. That's what the messenger said. He said, be careful who you follow. Mm -hmm. Because you may be following a hypocrite. That's you get these hypocrite nigga Jews who lead a message. Because you can't cut the cheese. So you become a jealous little nigga. A jealous little Jew nigga. Who wish you could be in the FOI. So now you see this hypocrite Lewis Eugene. Another snake. Yes. Who don't want the teachers of the message. Mm -hmm. We gonna get back to the sub. We just drifting a little bit to come right on back. Let's talk about this snake. This hypocrite that you know, whose name is Lewis Eugene Walcott. He's just a bigger snake as Bus Stop Bishop. Mm -hmm. But he a bigger hypocrite than Bus Stop Bishop. Mm -hmm. Farrakhan, the best hypocrite in the history of the nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. Probably in the world. Mm -hmm. He the biggest great pretender. The biggest sorry little snake that don't care nothing about the black woman. He don't want the teachers of the mess. So he build him something for himself. This, this hypocrite. Louis Eugene. He ain't got a picture of brothers or sisters washing the brother's feet in his MGT class. He ain't doing it like that. But this snake. He kissed Stephanie Mills in front of everybody. He another. He don't want the teachings of the man. Most of these brothers that you see as Muslims, fake Muslims, they don't want the teachings of the message. They talk the talk. Because when you read in the Holy Quran, one of my favorite battles is the battle of you hood. Allah just told him straight up. He caused them to lose. Because he said, I want to see the hypocrites and the believers. Mm -hmm. I could make you win. I could put you on top, but I'm letting you lose. Just to see the hypocrites mm -hmm. and the believers. So right now. We in a bad condition. Yes. The Muhammad Speaks newspaper is the number one program of the message. Yes, sir. All the hell we catch just to print an issue. Yes. Because most Muslims don't want the teachings of the message. Yes. They talk the talk, but they don't want to walk the walk. We catch so much hell. The devil, let's just talk about this issue because our brothers are talking about the hell you catch. Mm -hmm. The devil that we was getting the paper from just cut us out. Yeah. Kicked us to the curb. Mm -hmm. So now we got to go to another devil paying more for less. Yes. Just to get the paper to come out. Mm -hmm. Then you hear a brother tell you he eating what he do. Mm -hmm. No. They don't want the teachers of the message. Allah say I let you lose. Just to see the hypocrites and the believers. So we in a condition today. 
Well, we struggling and catching hell trying to keep the teachings of the messenger alive. Mm -hmm. You got this hypocrite, Louis Eugene. He a nigga Jew in reverse. The nigga Jew destroying the nation of Islam outside of the nation. Mm -hmm. He destroying it inside of the nation. Yes. This hypocrite now got the nerve. To kiss Stephanie Mills in front of all these so-called believers. Why? Well, I say I want to see the hypocrites and the believers. Not only do he kiss Stephanie Mills. He taking selfies. This brother's supposed to be a minister for the messenger. We supposed to be helping the messenger resurrect Sukiyan. Resurrect sexy red. Mm -hmm. But you got hypocrites. This hypocrite got a wife. Mm -hmm. This hypocrite is the one talking about he want to have more than one wife. Mm -hmm. So this hypocrite got a wife, plus he got more than one. Messenger ain't never taught us that. But let's just say, for the sake of the argument, he got it. Then he still ain't satisfied. Just destroying the nation within the nation. Because when you look at the message, this brother standing next to a sister. Look where he got his hands. He ain't touching her at all. He ain't even rubbing elbows and shoulders with her. That's the teaching of the message. Uh -huh. Most of these brothers don't want that. Most brothers want this. This is what you want. You want to be taking selfies with Sukiyani now. You don't want to resurrect them. You want to take selfies with them. Uh -huh. You want to be sitting up there like the Christian preacher talking about, she my little daughter, I raised her. No, she ain't your wife. Mm -hmm. Messenger had restrictive law. In the restrictive law, you can get time out of the temple for marrying and taking up time with other sisters. That's, right. That's why you see this, bro. He ain't even, he ain't making no mistake. <laughs> Standing all the way out the way. Then when you have in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper, brothers who was married, wasn't even smooching. The messenger told us that the white man is the one who put his woman on display. Yes. That's the teachings of the messenger. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to resurrect Sukiyani now. We don't want to sell no papers. We want what this hypocrite want. We want to flirt with the sisters. We want to be married and still putting our arm around the little lost found sister, teaching them Islam the way we want them to have Islam. Mm -hmm. Teaching them like, oh, the black woman needs to submit to the black man. Black man's God. We've been here before you and all this and this and that. But never tell the sister your duty to her. But let's go on with the message. Because we're talking about Sukiyani and Sexy Red. This what the messenger said in this article for the brothers. He says, but you, black man, being robbed of this intelligent knowledge and care for your own black woman. She is taken away from you by the enemy. And she is trampled in the mud and filth of their race, and then a white man looks at you and laughs. Actually, some of our black men need to suffer for allowing their black women to practice the filth and evil of this white people right in his face. So you had all these Muslims, because we ain't even talking about us protecting and making it easy for Sukiyan, who out there in the street. We talking about inside of the temple. Yes. We're supposed to be Muslims. Mm -hmm. Those who be the most horrible lives in my heart. Them kind of Muslims. We'll sit there and let this hypocrite kiss this sister in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. Before I should have drug him out of that auditorium. 
Because the one thing you will find when you go study the teachings of the man, wasn't no favorites. Mm -mm. Go read that history of how quick the Muslims turned on Malcolm. Go and look how fast the messenger put Muhammad Ali out for a year. Mm -hmm. Wasn't no favorites. Mm -hmm. Messenger said, you either help me resurrect the dead or you kick rocks. <laughs> this hypocrite, you don't even see him kissing his own wife during the time of the message. Right. Now you see this hypocrite in all these pictures with all these sisters trying to act like he's some special. He's some messiah. But Allah said, I want to see the hypocrites and the disbelievers. I want to see it. What you going to do when it look like we lose it? What you going to do? You still going to believe in the teachings of the message? You still going to say it like he said. You still going to get out and sell papers when you got IUIC. You got this hypocrite. You got your own problems in your personal life plus the temple. You still going to sell some papers. But you going to make an excuse to why you can't get no papers. Oh, I got to do this. What about what we got to do? They don't even think about it. And this for all of these new beliefs. This is what you're dealing with. That's why Islam is you, Allah, and the message. That's right. One of the, my favorite articles that the messenger wrote is called The Friendship of Allah. It was in 1970. All believers should go read it. Because if you come in and into the temple and you don't think that it's going to be somebody you love, somebody you trust, somebody as the message said, I never thought, I never thought he would do this to me. That'd be the very one yes. who do the worst things to you. That's the truth. That's why you need to read the friendship of Allah. Yes, Allah is our only friend. This is what the messenger said. Praise due to Allah. Sometimes we got to learn that the hard way. Yes, sir. But the messenger said, or oh, Allah, in the Holy Quran, I want to see the hypocrites and the disbelievers. Because that could be the th very thing why you make your excuse. Oh, my husband. Oh, my son, my daughter, my friend. I trusted the captain. I trusted the minister. That could be your excuse. But Allah say, I want to see the hypocrites. I want to see the believers. I want to see the one through all the hell they can't still get out. Say on the paper. Still get out and say, Muhammad speak, not final call. Not representing this hypocrite. Representing the message through hell or high water. Still come to the temple every week. Still deal with all the BS from the lost files and the Muslims. Because the messenger said, Allah is our only free. Well, brothers and sisters, we don't want to prolong the time. So I'll leave you as I came in the nation of Islam's greeting words of peace. Bas Salaam Alaikum. Alaikum Enjoying the show? Help keep us on the air. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033 to make a donation. Brothers and sisters, we rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the beneficent and merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the merciful, soul master's day of judgment in which we now live. The alone do we serve, the alone seeks for thine help and aid. O oh Allah, please guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou hast thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray after they heard thy teachings. Say he Allah is one God, Allah is he of whom nothing is independent but upon whom we all depend. 
He begetteth not, nor is he begotten. There is none like him. And I bear witness that none is there to be served, worst of praise besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. And I bear witness that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is thy true servant and last apostle. I mean, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us not to do anything to anyone. We wouldn't have done it to ourselves and treat everybody right, even the devil. Assalamu alaikum.